Hey boys and girls, this is an Amplify Science book and it's called Whose Lunch Is This? by Kate Donaldson Fletcher and Ashley Chase. Whose Lunch Is This? by Kate Donaldson Fletcher and Ashley Chase. What do you like to eat for lunch? Different people like to eat different things. Still, everybody needs to eat something. People need to eat so we can grow and survive. And I noticed the word survive is darker. It's in bold. Animals also need to eat so they can grow and survive. Different kinds of animals eat different things. What do these animals eat? Scientists ask questions like this all the time. In this book, you will find out what some animals eat for lunch. Whose lunch is this? A zebra. A zebra can be a lion's lunch. Lions are predators. That means they eat other animals. Lions have sharp teeth and claws. These body structures help lions catch animals to eat. Lions need to eat animals. That's the only way lions can survive. Whose lunch is this? Berries can be a bear's lunch. Bears are predators, but they also eat plants. Bears have long, sharp teeth and claws, and these structures are good for eating animals. They are also good for eating plants. Bears need to eat lots of plants and animals to survive. Whose lunch is this? A clam can be a sea otter's lunch. Sea otters are predators. To survive, they need to eat other animals. Sea otters dive underwater. They look for clams and other animals to eat. When an otter finds a clam, the otter picks up a rock too. Then the otter floats on its back. It hits the clam against the rock to break the clam's shell. When the shell breaks, the otter eats the clam. The clam becomes a sea otter's lunch. Whose lunch is this? A cactus plant can be a javelina's lunch. Say it, javelina. Javelinas are animals that look like small furry pigs. They live in the desert and eat spiny cactus and other plants. Javelinas have long curved teeth. These structures help javelinas tear pieces of cactus plants. Javelinas need to eat plants. That's the only way javelinas can survive. Whose lunch is this? A moth can be a hornbill's lunch. A hornbill is a bird with a big hooked beak. This structure is good for catching moths and other small animals. Just like bears, hornbills are predators. They also eat plants. To survive, they eat moss and other small animals. They also eat fruits and other plants. Whose lunch is this? A jelly can be a sea turtle's lunch. It's not the kind of jelly you eat on a sandwich. This kind of jelly is an animal that lives in the ocean. When green sea turtles are young, they eat jellies. They also eat seagrass and other plants. The front of the sea turtle's mouth is sharp and pointed like a beak. This structure helps the sea turtle catch and eat jellies. It is also good for nipping seagrass. Young green sea turtles eat lots of jellies and seagrass to survive. Like bears and hornbills, they are predators that also eat plants. Whose lunch is this? Grass can be a zebra's lunch. Ze lions eat zebras, but zebras need to eat too. Zebras have teeth that are good for nipping grass. 
They use these structures to eat grass and other plants. Zebras need to eat plants. That's the only way zebras can survive. Zebras, lions, bears, sea otters, javelinas, hornbills, sea turtles, and people need to eat. So do all other animals. Animals need to eat for the same reason you do. They need to eat so they can grow. They need to eat so they can survive. Everybody needs to eat. And this is a glossary and those bold words that you saw previously in the book will be listed here in the glossary and they'll give you the definitions. The glossary is an important feature of a nonfiction text. Predator, an animal that hunts and eats other animals. Scientist, someone who learns about the natural world. Structure, a part of an object or a living thing that does something. And survive to stay alive. This book is called Whose Lunch Is It? by Kate Donaldson Fletcher and Ashley Chase. And this is an Amplify Science book.